Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB or Chris, and today I wanna to get two orders of business um, out at the beginning of this video. Number one, Manny, um, our brother from SoCal Shave, his father passed away on Wednesday of uh, COVID-related illness. Um, I would appreciate it. I'm gonna link his channel below. Give Manny a sub, and on his videos, just give him some words of encouragement. Don't contact him, because I'm sure he and his family are going through a lot right now, but you know, if you would sub and maybe make, um, give some encouraging words on some of his videos, I'm sure he would appreciate it. Uh, Manny, God bless. Uh, if you're so inclined, say a prayer for Manny or send good vibes, uh, whichever you prefer. Uh, man, Manny, you know, God bless. Next order of business, I wanna make it clear, and this is for new people, because oftentimes when I address these things, the people who know, know me will go, why are you saying this? We know you, thank you, but understand that new people come to this channel every day. I do not get paid to promote products. I do not receive money in response for reviews. Occasionally, a vendor will send a product and I will tell you during the video, this was sent to me by. Um, that is not often. It happens now and then and I will tell you. I am not on the payroll of any shaving company, vendor, artisan, straight razor honing person. The latest thing that popped up in one of my videos was there's a, a fellow alleging that I've been paid by straight razor shaving companies to promote straight razor shaving, and so I've started straight razor shaving. Absolutely patently false. In fact, David Gonzalez, who's been a friend of mine for probably five years, and the stallion, Anthony Esposino, uh, who I've known and has been a friend probably seven years or more, they've been on me for years about straight razor shaving, and I've always said no, no, no. And recently, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do it. So I bought a straight razor off of David Gonzalez, and then the stallion saw that. He reached out to me and he sent me a couple of razors. He didn't ask for anything. He didn't ask me to promote anything. No one pays me to pr promote products. I wanna be very clear about that. That is just absolute rubbish. And I will allow people to comment and air criticism, say things that, you know, hopefully it's constructive, but I allow pretty free reign of commenting. But if you continually assert allegations that are patently false and uh, they are absolutely ridiculous in nature, and, and eventually I'm going to remove you. And so I'm just telling you, feel free to comment, air constructive criticism, criticism, whatever. But when you start airing allegations that, is, that are false, you're going to be gone because we just don't have time for that. Um, if you're watching and you're part of the family that wants to grow this hobby and community, we are aligned. If you're there to mudsling and try to impugn people's character and be negative, we're not aligned and you gotta go. And it's that simple. Okay, let's get to the shave. So today we're using Murphy and McNeil Clotta right there, which is, scent strength on this one kind of light for me. It's not super, um, this one for me is not a super sharp. It's sort of inspired by Creed Silver Mountain Water. It's not super sharp to my nose. I'd call it about 3.5 to four on the scent scale. Really pleasant smelling soap, but it's, it's not gonna blow anybody over in terms of scent strength. Um, it costs $19.99 for 5.5 ounces or $3.63 an ounce, which is a fair price, but they do offer free shipping in the US with no minimum. So if you factor that in, this is a good price for the soap. It's Murphy and McNeil, a company that I really like in terms of their customer service, um, especially, and by the way, this misting comes to you from uh, the Sea Monster, Glenn Helly. A little misting. Let's get some misting going here. How do you like that, Glenn? <laughs> Did you see the Sea Monster's uh, video? I'm going to start uh, loading here. By the way, the straight razor is going to be the Dovo Perlex. But anyway, Glenn made a video where he was talking about uh, the misters. And it was sort of a parody thing at the beginning. So we're going to mist even more now since Glenn... The sea monster has done that. Go check out <laughs> Glenn's channel. It's all in good fun. Don't get upset, people. The brush, by the way, is AP Shave Co. I call it the White Wizard. This came to me for, it was like 20 bucks. 30 millimeter cashmere knot, my favorite brush. Um, I love it. Uh, when I bought this brush, I also bought the, the one that's called the Hulk, which is kind of like a green and purple. I prefer this one. The Hulk has the uh, Sinbad knot. The cashmere is the softest knot that that I've ever uh, used. And it is, like I said, it's 20 bucks is what I paid for. He's out of the 30 millimeter in the, the White Wizard handle. 
right now, but I think he's getting more. Uh, but I really, this was a purchase that I was super pumped about. So I made a video on this brush and the Hulk brush after I got them, because I was just like, I love these things. And when I see something that I really like, for example, the Lancaster towel, which I heard about first from DK, from, uh, I call him Blackbeard, from DK Darn Fine Shaves. I made a video on that one, I received it, because it was just phenomenal. I wasn't the first person to use that, probably not even the 10th. But I make highlight sort of videos when I really like something. And the towel, just terrific. Same thing with this brush. So a lot of people have been getting these brushes and have been enjoying them. And that makes me happy. I'm just, I'm glad when you get something that works well for you. All right. So we're going, uh, I know diff people have different feelings about lather here. Um, I'm going a little more thin and a little, with a little more water. Some people don't feel that's necessary. I do for straight razor shaving. I have found that when I go too thick or a little on the pasty side, it just gets in the way and becomes a liability for me. Again, this is straight razor shave, I believe, number 13. So hopefully we <laughs> hopefully won't ha we won't have any bad luck uh, today. I hope everyone is doing well this Friday. Again, go check out Glenn Haley's video in the top. I think it says public service announcement at the beginning and he's talking about people with the misters. And I'm gonna miss even more now, Glenn, so there you go. Anyway, hope everyone is doing well. Let's see how we do today with our Dovo Pearlex. It's absolutely beautiful blade, at least in my opinion. Oh, very, very nice. Honestly, I've been enjoying these uh, straight razor shaves to the degree that uh, it's made me not want to use a DE. That said, that's also the time when you become complacent and it starts getting a little more comfortable. So. We're trying to be mindful of the fact that I'm still very new to the style of shaving and I have a lot to learn. And I have the good fortune of learning from a lot of very experienced people who I'm not gonna mention again because I've been mentioning people like crazy and people are gonna be like, why are you talking about Maddie Lindholm every day or Dave Card or The Stallion or, you know, else they're helping me. And I hope it's also helpful to you. Um, that's what I hope anyway. Uh, okay, there we go. There is that side and it felt quite good. Lovely blade here. I like these full hollows. I don't know, I kind of like the feedback. I'm gonna. See monster style. Glenn Helley refuses to use the spray bottle. He will be using the spray bottle before it's over, is my prediction. Feels nice. See how that water's falling off my blade there? That's good. <laughs> I don't want it to drip down in my pins. But I am glad that I have a little more moisture in my lather because what I have learned so far, based on my own trial and error, is if it's too dry, it tends to gum up and it becomes a liability. And that's no good for anybody. It's no good for anybody. So Murphy and McNeil, I want to talk a little bit about them. Fantastic customer service. I made a video just on that. I think they really care. They really sort of get out in the community and they're listening to the reviews and trying to uh, improve 
their product and their service. And I really appreciate that. I just think it's, I think it's great that they're sort of committed, committed to the degree that they're, they're listening. Um, honestly, I have found that sometimes artisans, they're very eager to listen early on and then they get some footing and they're, you know, they're a little less likely to listen and they're, you know, less enthusiastic when people, you know, are talking about their product. And that's okay because they become busy and more successful and you understand that. But I, I like people who remain engaged and, and they're also part of the community. They're just not selling goods like, you know, Clorox bleach or something. They're actually a part of the community. And that for me is always a, a bonus when they're sort of watching what's going on, watching how their products are being used and uh, trying to proactively correct problems. Sea monster. We might have to call this bottle the sea monster, the mister. The sea mister. <laughs> the, the sea monster. Anyway, go check out Glenn Helly. Had a conversation on the phone with him yesterday, which was quite nice. I don't think I've ever talked to him. I, I actually uh, try to talk to people, uh, you know, in the community and other content creators and just other people who are enthusiasts. You know, it's not just me talking to myself or talking to you. In the comments, we actually talk to each other and form friendships and, and have a good time. And so I was talking to Glenn yesterday and we had some really nice uh, conversation. Talked to Jim Combs and, of course, the inspector and David Gonzalez and the stallion and many people. I've talked to Rick before from Loose Screw Shaving and Chad from CD Shaving Murphy. Again, it, the more I mention people, the harder it is for me to go and find all their channel information and link it. I'm trying my best, you know, to to put that information down below, which is can be a lot of work, as many people as I mentioned. But I try to do that to promote everyone's channel. And because these are folks that I really like. And so um, if I like them, I think maybe you'll like them, you know. And obviously people have different preferences when it comes to content, but I like those guys. And it's just nice to try to be supportive of the other channels and so on and so forth. And I wanna get back on that thread I was on about product reviews. Honestly, I don't know anybody in this entire, entire community that gets paid to do product endorsement or review. I don't know anyone. I know there are a number of channels and generally the bigger the channel, the more product they receive. So Kevy and Ken Surfs and, and Paul H, you know, they receive products, but I seriously doubt that they're paid to endorse products. I think they're fine, upstanding guys, and I don't have a problem with anything they do. And I'm the same way. If I receive something, I tell you I received it, and I think every one of those guys tell you when they receive something. So when you see these people making these sort of allegations, uh, just ignore it and go on about your business. Um, because I really don't believe there's anybody getting paid to to give opinions on products. That's just that's just my opinion. Okay, here we go. We're trying to be more ma mindful of the Frank grip. Feels pretty good. Not bad. Need to hit that just a little bit right there. Cause I wanna go, I've just found that when I sort of go over the jawline, it's easier than stopping on the jawline. So I'm also using the, the Dr. Matt cloth, which, which was kindly sent to me by a viewer. So thank you very much. I think it was Brad. As people have noted, You can stretch too much and actually make it work against you. So I'm trying to find that sort of happy median of stretching enough, but not too much. And again, I like to mention that uh, I am new to straight razor shaving. I have attempted it before, but I've never, I've never put this many straight razor shapes together in a short period of time. Let's put it that way. So 
my technique is evolving, let's say, um, as I learn. And I hope you're learning with me. I know a lot of people have commented that they're, they're starting to straight razor shave because they've seen me and, and that's just an honor. So I, I thank you so much. Um, just be careful, go slow, take your time and baby steps. Not bad so far. We're gonna reapply a little moisture on this side because I take a while because my, you know, again, pretty new to me. And so what happens is the lather will start to dry out. And again, we're not shooting today, nor will we ever be shooting on this channel for uh, a lather that looks a particular way. I'm looking for function and what's going to help me and assist me in the shave. I don't give a single solitary hoot about what the lather looks like at all. It's not important to me. It's important to me where the rubber meets the road as far as how the shave is going. stretch it here a little bit. I have found that the cloth actually works pretty good. People say use alum. I have used alum and sometimes um, it works pretty well and then other times my hand is still slipping and so I'm probably not getting enough alum on but you know the cloth is, is easy to use. You just hold it there and it, it's, it's doing what I need it to do. And that's the main thing for me. I'm not opposed to using something that's, a, say, a relatively new idea. If the end result is that it helps me, I'll go with it, you know. Um, one of the things I want to mention is people have commented they think that's a scar from the live video. It's not. That's a fresh one from this week. Um, actually, one of the things I want to tell you about the leaf razor. Do not think for a minute that the leaf razor is a cart. It pivots and it holds multiple blades, but it will cut you if you sleep. I have cut myself like three or four times with it. Now, it's not in any way hazardous but don't think don't think it's a cart because you will do what I did and now I've been going over it with the leaf and I keep sort of removing that scab and so that's what's happening there so it isn't it's it's a new cut actually so all I'm doing here is just trying to Trying to line up that goatee a little bit. All this hair is mostly already removed. So I'm just strictly having a light touch here to sort of line up the goatee. That's the only purpose there. I found that between the downstroke and the upward pass with straight razors, most of it is gone because I never go more than 24 hours between shaving. I'm a shaver. I have all this equipment. I'm using it every day. It's fun. Why wouldn't a shaver shave, you know, if your skin can handle it? Okay, we are gonna call that again. Felt pretty good, far from protect, far from uh, Perfection, but no weepers, creepers, cuts, irritation, bubbles, trouble so far. So let me rinse. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back with our Lancaster Razor Works towel, which again, I love. And I'm still bummed out that uh, I sent one of these to Jimmy along with some other stuff. And it was sent to the wrong address and Jimmy went over there to get it. And they said they never received a package, obviously. So somebody has a nice Lancaster towel and a brush and a couple of soaps. 
That's you have to really be a jerk to receive a package that doesn't belong to you and not return it to sender. I mean, that's just uh, very disheartening. I'll have to put something together for Jimmy again. All right, anyway, uh, that was a great shave. Let's go ahead with our witch hazel. Um, see, mister, this is uh, Humphreys, witch hazel, cucumber melon. And again, ball gents, hit the dome every chance you get. It's great, it's great fun, believe me. <laughs> oh, that feels nice. I wanna thank everybody for watching today. Again, please go check out Manny. Um, keep him in your thoughts and prayers and um, give him some words of encouragement on his channel if you would, please. So today we used the Clada from uh, Murphy and McNeil. Lightly scented, 3.5 to maybe four. Um, nice performer, good price, no complaints at all with the Murphy McNeil. They have terrific customer service. It's really one of their strong suits. We use the AP Shave Co. White Wizard 30 millimeter, which is in fact my favorite brush. This was such a bargain at 20 bucks, and I hope they get more of these um, 30 millimeter White Wizard soon because, you know, I hope you guys will have the chance to enjoy it too if you want. And uh, we are, oh, of course, we used the Dovo Pearl X, which actually I bought from uh, Superior Shave. So if you're looking for one of those, you can find it at Superior Shave. We're going to finish off today with Sterling. This one is uh, Mountain Man, which I really like and is outstanding. It's got that um, Creed Silver Mountain Water fragrance, and I've had a decant of Silver Mountain Water before. And so I find that this is nice. Um, is it an exact dupe no but it's very nice and it hangs around a good while i, I find that a lot of the older old odor excuse me aftershaves hang around a good long while some of the newer ones not as much so i don't know what some of the artisans have have changed and i'm not saying sterling has changed things because uh, i don't really have a lot of their new stuff but some of the older aftershaves just don't hang around as long as they used to that's kind of a bummer all right did i miss anything i don't think so i want to thank all of you you're the most important thing. I might be doing a live shave Saturday, so stay tuned for that one. Uh, go check out my Facebook page, which is linked below, the social media sites, uh, Instagram. I'll post in advance. Might do a, um, a shave Saturday afternoon or somewhere thereabouts. I want to thank everyone for joining us once again. Until next time, I want to remind you, it's your shave. Do it your way. And of course, as always, God bless you.